and somebody nobody loves. Oh me, oh my, my, my. Oh, bollocks! What's got into you, mate? What the hell are you doing? What's it bloody look like? The Aurora is my girl now, Sean. I will not have another man picking up her skirt. Oh, right? for fuck's sake, Jules. You're a driver now. You want respect on the circuit? You gotta stop thinking like a mechanic. All right, I'm put on airs like some posh wanker with a silver spoon up me arse. No thanks, brother. Veronique! Morning, beautiful. I'm coming along for the race. Vittore asked me to take pictures. Couldn't he wait till I'd made myself a little more decent? I don't believe in miracles. Oh, my sister got all the charm. And the brains. That's enough screwing around. We've got a race to win. You boys have work to do. Both of you. Say the word, boss. Let's get our girl on the trailer. I want to be across the border by sundown. Ready to move out? The truck is loaded and ready to roll. And the Aurora? Trust up tighter than a nun's arse. Good. Veronique and I will ride ahead. You boys take the truck and head east to the German border. From there, it's a straight shot to Saarbrücken. I've marked the location on your map. Come on, Sean, get in. Yeah, yeah. This is it, my friend. After tomorrow, you'll be a famous driver, and I will be right there beside you, reaping the rewards of your success. Which rewards did you have in mind? The women! These German girls are crazy for racers. We'll have a dozen blonde beauties feeding us grapes, huh? <laughs> Assuming you don't fuck it up, of course. <laughs> well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jews. But there's more riding on this race than you getting your hull knocked off. Vittori took a big gamble making me his wheelman. You're not gonna let him down, Sean. I hope not. Vittori's got bigger problems to worry about these days. Like what? Like the fact that a war could break out any minute, huh? Don't you read the papers? Just the sports section. These Nazi bastards are itching for a fight. If they get their wish, we're all gonna be out of a job. There's the border up ahead. Drive slow and try not to look suspicious. Right. I should have warned me leader holes him. I'm serious. These assholes are looking for any excuse to start shooting. Father, now I can smell the petrol fumes from here. You just keep your eyes on the track and the pedal to the floor, my friend. You let me worry about the rest. <laughs> Are you volunteering to be my manager? What's so funny? I didn't have to be a mechanic, you know. I could have done anything. The teacher used to say to me, Jules, all of these kids are stupid, especially your cousin Javier. But not you, Jules. You are too clever for your own good. I thought Veronique got the brains in the family. She likes to think so. What's her beef with me anyway? I can't put a foot right when she's her own. It's not just you. Veronique is tough on men in general. What's that? One of these days I'll take you to my family's cabaret in Paris, huh? Veronique was raised in the Belle de Nuit. <laughs> Let's just say it was uh, not your typical upbringing. Sounds like fun. My friend, you have no idea.
Gazenevier, where's the boss? The tower is waiting for you at the bar down the street. Leave the truck with us. I'll meet you at the bar. First round's on me. I'm glad you finally decided to join us. We took the scenic route. You run into any trouble? Just the usual groupies, looking for autographs. A toast to Team Morini and Our Lady Aurora. To Senor Morini for taking a big chance on a dodgy bloke like me. <laughs> Another round for me mates. Easy, Sean. You'll need a clear head tomorrow. Dirker flew in this morning from Berlin. Kurt Dirker? I thought he was retired. Speak of the devil. Guten Abend, Herr Morini. Always a pleasure to welcome one of our Italian friends to the Fatherland. I was just speaking of my admiration for General Mussolini. A kindred spirit to our own Führer. Your country is fortunate to have such a leader, yeah? Racing is my passion. I find little time for politics. Sometimes racing is politics. No. There is a difference. You must forgive my ignorance, Hemorini. We Germans are a simple people. Perhaps you would enlighten us further? One's a hobby for rich assholes who can't get laid without a flashy car and a silly uniform. The other is racing. This must be that British mechanic who thinks he's a driver. I'm fucking Irish. It's getting late. Why don't we call it a night? The night is young, Fräulein. Stay. Dine with me. I've no taste for German cuisine. Not yet, perhaps. But soon, the women of your country will learn to savor the taste of a purebred German bratwurst. Bastard! Oh, let get my crazy sister out of here before she gets us all killed! I am not going anywhere! Enough! I'm taking her upstairs! I'm <laughs> the fuck down! I don't think he can hear you. Salute that, you fucking knob jockey! The barman's talking to the police. I'll take care of Veronique. You boys, get out of here! Jules, time to get scarce. Right behind you! Chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, Jules. Mailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car! Hold on to your arses. Just like old times, eh, Skyler? Never a dull moment. How long have you been in town? Mm, just got in, actually. I see you wasted no time running afoul of the local police. Ugh, those fellas behind us, they're just having a laugh. Is this Desperado routine meant to be a turn-on? I don't know. Is it working? Will you watch the fucking road, please? 
The radio ahead to set up roadblocks. Double back and you should be able to slip through the net. I teach you that in your posh English school. Hmm. Benefits of a higher education. Are all English girls as crazy as you are? Give us a bit of privacy, would you, Jules? Oh, I'd love to, as soon as you check these crowds. Fancy a nightcap. <sighs> Brilliant. I'm parched. Oh, fuck this. I'm not going to be the third wheel. Take me back to the hotel. to bed. Keep the noise down, eh? I need some fucking rest. Come on up. I'll sneak you in the back door. Wouldn't have it any other way. <sighs> Nothing like a brisk evening drive to quicken the blood. Except perhaps a single malt McGarren, aged 30 years. Must be Christmas. Lucky for Jews and me, you came sliding down the chimney when you did. Christmas, is it? Oh, I'm afraid I've been a bad girl. Aye, I'm certain of it. Whatever happened after that weekend in Monaco? You never rang me up. You never gave me your number? Oh, that's hardly an excuse. You're not still pining for Jules's little sister, are you? She's a bit of a bore, don't you think? I don't think I'm her type. So, you in town for the race? What can I say? I have a weakness for men in fast cars. I've been all over Europe following the circuit. Mum and Dad are mortified, of course. Beats working for a living. I wouldn't know. What's this for? Shaving your legs? A girl should always carry protection. One day you'll have to tell me how you came by these scars. We've done enough talking for one night. <laughs> 